Welcome to this uh, breakfast this morning. Um, I'm John Furness from the Department of State Growth. Um, I manage the Tasmanian Employer of Choice program. This breakfast is the first event of a two-day conference, Workplace Mental Health and Action Plan for Australia. Uh, the conference is presented by the UTAS School of Business and Economics, which is a major partner of the Employer of Choice program. And I just would like to thank Angela Martin from the School of Business and Economics over here uh, for, for tailoring the conference and really um, giving us the opportunity this morning to um, partner with Employer of Choice um, to really help us to build a deeper understanding of how mentally healthy workplaces are fundamental to creating great places to work and achieving great business results. And that's what the Employer of Choice program is all about. So we'll hear more from Angela shortly. Um, this morning is also one of the key events in the WorkSafe Month calendar. Um, big program of events this month. Um, and I'd just like to acknowledge the work of Cameron Blight and his team. Who he is over there and the WorkSafe crew um, for all their support and collaboration um, between Employer of Choice and WorkSafe Tasmania. It's, it's great that, that we have the opportunity to work with WorkSafe um, on these events um, and to be part of WorkSafe Month. We'll hear more from Cameron a bit later as well. We're also very fortunate this morning to have in attendance uh, the Minister for Building and Construction, Guy Barnett, MP. And I'd just like to invite the Minister now to say a few words before we get started. Thank you, Minister. Thanks very much, uh, John, and uh, to all the organisers for pulling the breakfast together. It's terrific to see so many people from such a broad range of places and to see the support that there is out there obviously for WorkSafe Month but also to promote the importance of uh, healthy lifestyles in the workplace including mental health. And just for your interest as Minister for Building and Construction, I also have uh, type 1 diabetes and I'm Ambassador for Diabetes Australia. It's a position I am um, very honoured to have and like to promote healthy lifestyles where possible. Don't always uh, do the right thing, but try to. And um, great to see such a healthy breakfast here this morning, so I hope you're really enjoying it. Um, and also to Cameron for helping organise it. Cameron was reminding me uh, that uh, we first met in 2002 when I was, as a senator for Tasmania, hosting a um, healthy lifestyle forum to help combat childhood obesity. And he remembers that uh, forum uh, back in 2002. So look, it's, uh, I hope also for those involved in the forum over yesterday, and I think you had the police commissioner there yesterday at uh, Rest Point, and then today and tomorrow, those that are involved, I hope it's a very productive and enjoyable time for you all. I just wanted to give you an update, um, some really good news on some of the figures in terms of uh, workplace safety, and thank my department for the wonderful support they've provided. So some, some encouraging news to, to get kick off the day. Over the past 10 years, workplace injuries in Tasmania have decreased uh, by 25% from 10, over 10,000 recorded in 2005 to 7,500 in 2015. During that same period, the percentage of work, uh, workers' compensation injuries resulting in time off work has dropped from 49% to 42%. Um, in 2015-16, there were 782 reported claims in the manufacturing industry, a decrease of 18% on the previous year. 630 reported claims in the retail trade industry, a decrease of 3.5%. 576 reported claims in the construction industry, a decrease of 3.7%. When injured, the return to work rate in Tasmania is 92%. Um, above the national average of 87% and an indication of the quality of injury management care provided locally. And most pleasingly, there's been a similar reduction in the rate of serious injury, which has reduced from 14 claims per 1,000 employees in 2010 to 11.2 uh, in 2015. So it's all, all good news there, and I, that's a little bit of an update on some of those facts and figures. So John, great uh, to be here. Thank you for having me. I um, have to leave shortly. We have Parliament today, so sorry to miss the, the rest of the breakfast, and I uh, hope it goes really well and the rest of your forums informative and productive and enjoyable. Thanks. Thank 
It's well known that um, employee health and wellbeing is a key driver of business success. Um, Tasmania's employers of choice understand this and continue to build caring organisations which focus on enabling people to be in the best condition, physically and <coughs> mentally, to undertake their work. The annual Employer of Choice Awards recognise workplaces across the state that provide outstanding support for their staff.